Taylor. What? Welcome back to Chin's Trap Chaps. Oh, thanks. I'm glad to be on the show. Thank you for having me. So tell me about the. Tell me about EverQuest. EverQuest. Well, EverQuest <laughs> used to be an MMORPG for the PC back in like the early '90s. I think is when it first started being a thing. Um, I don't think it's been a thing in a long time. I think there was an EverQuest too. And it, was, it hasn't been a thing for a long time. Can you tell me about Furcadia? No, I don't know what that is. Okay. Well, it's basically a, a furry... A furry version uh, of that? A furry MMO. Oh. It's like... Um, that sounds about right. I think Club Penguin, but with furries. I don't even know what Club, Play- Club Penguin is. I don't know what that is. You, you, don't, you don't know what... I've heard of it. I don't know what it is, though. Is that just another MMO thing? Um. Yeah, It's. it was like a child's one, though. The Great No. Oh, I thought he had a horn on his head. I was say the Great Narwhal of the Northeast. I never, I never played either of them, so I, I really don't know that much about them. But it, um, from what it looks like, they look like really, like have you ever seen RuneScape? Yeah, but with furry costumes oh. or penguins. They probably have furry costumes in fucking RuneScape, dude. <laughs> they gotta. Man, RuneScape looks it just looked like ass. I don't know why people played it. I played it for like a couple of months and then I'm I, like, alright. I, I never did. I'm just like, no. Oh. So you want me to tell you about the real thing? Yeah. The, twi- the twig light? Yeah, tell me about twig. I don't... It, each movie is so inconsequential and stupid, but um, <laughs> the the thing of it is, is like later on in the films, uh, the main girl, Kristen Stewart... I like to I like to say that the entire Twilight series stars Kristen Stewart's two front teeth, because her mouth is just like, it's like that for ninety percent of every shot, you know, or like of every scene. It's just her two front teeth just out, like she cannot act worth their goddamn. Uh, but anyway, <laughs> what are you talking about? Oh, yeah, <laughs> I thought you loved me. No, I'm gonna go kill so myself in the woods stupid. so that you'll come back to me. <laughs> but anyway. Um, <laughs> They get married. Uh, they get married in one of them. I think they get married in Breaking Dawn Part One or something. Breaking Bad. Breaking Bad Burn. Part One. And they go. They go on like an island honeymoon because, like, I guess Edward's quote unquote dad owns an island for some reason. Um, I mean vampires. That makes sense. Yeah, but uh, so they go to an island. All the while, not that I now that I think about it, they established earlier on that like when he's in sunlight, he sparkles. Yeah. And I swear to God, there's shots and scenes of them in sunlight and he's not sparkling. So I don't know what the hell's up with that. Like the, <laughs> it's the film, too much for an effects budget. It, yeah, but like the film forgot its own like story and like rules, and it just doesn't do it. Like you know, doesn't play by them anymore. Yeah. Um, but anyway, they go on an island honeymoon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Skeletons and whatever. Ray, I leveled up. Can I go see the king now? Island Paradise. Hold on, let me make sure I know what I'm doing here. Uh, they go to an island paradise and they hang out for a little bit and they fuck, I think, for the first time. Feel like the first time. Yeah, like they, even though you know Edward's been fucking for thousands, hundreds. How, how old is he? Like uh, 300 years old or something? Uh, I think he's like 100 something. Okay. So he's been, he's he's been, been fucking. He's been fucking, yeah. You know he has been. But Bella, like, hasn't fucked, so then she fucks. Because she's a normal person. Yeah. Um, and then, uh, she gets pregnant, like, immediately, and, like, I don't know He's how. He's got potent. And I don't know how, like, I guess, like, vampire semen is, like, really potent in a human body, because, like, within seconds of, like, after having sex, like, she's like, I guess I'll be moving around, like, <laughs> it's like, okay. So, like, and, and this is, like, 45 minutes into the movie. The rest of the movie, like, like the, uh, the 45 minutes up to that point, nothing happens. <laughs> like, nothing of consequence happens. It's complete, you know, nonsense. Um, so, like, the rest of this movie is, like, basically, like, her trying to have this baby, pretty much. And she's, like, you I'm know. I'm gonna have this baby. She, yeah, she's, like, all gaunt and gross looking. Because she can't eat anything. I was gonna point, say, and then at one point, because she's Kristen Stewart. Yeah, because she's Kristen Stewart first of all. But then she, but then they're like, oh, we gotta give it blood. So then she starts drinking blood. She's like, oh, I like it, and she keeps drinking it. Um, and then I guess, uh, yeah, we're gonna do that one. I guess, um, yeah, 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 yeah. 
I guess, uh, like, trying to have a vampire baby in a human body is not good. So, like, she's a, right. so she, um, and this, you know, she's a human up till this point. Of but course. it's a half vampire. Yeah, so, like, um, she, uh, she gives birth to the baby. The baby. And then she dies, and then Edward bites her a bunch of times to try and turn her into a, 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 a robot. Werewolf. Yeah, a robot. Um, so that way she can be immortal. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> it's just funny because, like, in every scene, like, after that, they have, um, uh, I think that this is all in like Breaking or Breaking Bad Part One. So then in Breaking Bad Part Two, they have the baby, but the baby's CG. Like they couldn't get like a real baby, <laughs> so the baby's CG the whole time. Like yeah, and it looks so fake. <laughs> it looks so terrible. They should have just not showed the baby. If, yeah, if that like, was the case. Yeah, they had a CG baby. Like that's just wasting money. Yeah, and then you could have just had the person hold the doll. Yeah, and then they had, um, and then it turns out so like there's this thing with with Jacob being a werewolf that like he, uh, imp- like, there's this thing called imprinting where it's like he doesn't have any control over it, but if he imprints on a person, like he loves them forever, pretty much. So he thought he was imprinted on on what's her face. But it turns out he was actually imprinted on her baby the whole time, dude. I just so, want to fuck that kid. <laughs> yeah, I just want to fuck that baby, dude. So he's literally robbing the cradle. <laughs> but what ends up happening then is that uh, for some reason, since like you know, obviously the um, the child grew really quickly. Like within like two scenes, it's already like a ta- like a child, like an actual like seven or eight year old child. <laughs> Like, it, I don't know, it just grows really quickly. I don't think and, that's how that works, guys. The, the weirdest part is, like, so they had, like, a, an, an eight- or nine-year-old girl, but she was CG, too, for, like, half the movie. <laughs> Why? <laughs> I don't know. You could have had an actress at that point. I, I Like, think, I can understand that, like, babies can be fussy yeah. and hard to work with, but, like, a child is going to be a lot more I think, I think, able. I think it was because... Um, I probably had something to do with like um, child like labor laws or whatever, where they can only work yeah, a couple, certain like a certain amount of time on a day. But like it was so dumb. And then like halfway through the movie, she's not CG anymore, and it's like, what is going on? Why is there a CG child and then not a CG child all of a sudden? It's really bizarre. Um, and then the whole ending of the movie was a dream, so none of it mattered. <laughs> You literally watch the ending of the movie, and it's you know, like a thirty like minute fight scene, and then it's all a dream, and none of it matters. So, when did she, like she woke up in class? No, it was a uh, and one of the characters. Her like ability is to see the future. So she's like you know, the whole like plot device to make everything not happen. It's like you couldn't have predicted like anything, like any other things, like throughout this whole series to prevent us from even getting to this point, you know? Yeah. It's like, oh, it's so. It's really, it's a bad, bad movie. So, okay, what happened then? What actually happened? Then? So, there's this like society of of, uh, um, like, I don't know, like vampires called the Volturi that live in like Rio de Janeiro for some reason and like they catch wind that they had a a half like a half vampire half human child and like there's been like I guess history that that's happened before and the it they call them the immortal and they're like they're literally like an immortal vampire and they just destroy villages and stuff so then the Volturi like go to like Seattle which is where they're at. They're like in Washington State. Well, they, they go there. The and they take their sweet time walking over there. Apparently, the like, vampires have super speed. But like in the meantime, they were able to fly all over. Like the Edward and what's her face are able to fly all over this the um, the world to get witnesses because that's not actually an immortal that they gave birth to. Like it's, an, it's just a normal half human, half vampire person, I guess. So they want to go people to like to get people to like you know vouch for them that it, like it's not uh, an immortal that they gave birth to. So they go. I mean, how do they know? Because she can like imprint memories in them or something. I don't remember. Um, and then uh, yeah, they do that, and then they come back, and then like the final showdown's about to happen because they're all fighting for the 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 girl to the little girl to live, and then they're like. 
Or die. Then the, and then the one girl who can read the future comes out of nowhere. She's been missing the entire movie. And then she comes in and then, like, she reads it, or she like, gives the future to the Volturi people. And at first they play it off like this is the present, and then the, he decides to kill them anyway, and then the battle ensues, and then it cuts back, and then it's like, that's what would have happened if you entered the battle, and, like, you know, where they kill him and shit. And it's like, okay, well, then what was the point of watching the rest of this? It was, it was bad. It's really bad. So everything happens, like, they have the boo- they have the booby. The booby, yeah. And all that happens. Sorry, the, the screen's probably been real interesting just sitting on... <laughs> On a menu. So basically, all that doesn't happen is the killing of the guy. Yeah. And that stuff. Yeah. Okay, so I was thinking, like, uh, it was going to, like, cut back all the fucking way back to, like... The beginning. Yeah, like, where Bella Thorne's just fucking sitting there. That would have been more and talking inter- to more talking to this woman and be like, yeah, and then this happens. And they were like, huh, that's so silly. <laughs> he's not a vampire, he's just a hunk. And then he's just like... That would have been more interesting than what actually happens. Jacks off on some girl's face. <laughs> yeah. In mid-class. <laughs> that would have been more interesting than what actually happens. I would have been like, Yes! This movie has redeemed itself. The last four movies have been inconsequential. <laughs> There's no reason. It's all been just daydreaming a yeah. story about if this guy was super fucking like a vampire, but he's not. He's just oh, some yeah, douchebag. Go we gotta go fight the the Griffin. Right, did you did you hear about that one thing that happened in uh, Alaska? Uh, no. A man. Um, uh, what, gave a ride to a woman, and um, he didn't drive her to where uh, she was, you know, asked to go. Uh-huh. And then um, they got out of the car, and he strangled her uh-huh. until she became unconscious. Uh-huh. And then he jacked off onto her. Wow! And then she woke up, and he left. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, "Sorry, that's the only way I can get off," and then leaves. And leaves her right there, covered in his semen. Alright. He's not getting any jail We've time. We've done it! <laughs> Only in Alaska. Hey, he's not getting any jail time in for Flo- it. In Florida, he would have gone to jail right away. <laughs> I think he's getting like, um... What you call it? He lost his job. Good. Obviously. Um, he still has his family, his wife and kids. <coughs> um, but I think he's got I think he's on probation for like three years oh so it just shows you if you really want to get off just go to Alaska and strangle some woman and come on her it's fine <laughs> it's fine could have been just snow yeah, you it's never really know. gooey snow <laughs> I don't have arms the griffin took them from me that's why I want you to kill them why does it have arms? No, that was a different question. <laughs> Why doesn't that man have arms? Because he's bound behind the back. No, no, they just forgot to texture in his arms. No, because that's not how bounding behind the back would. You don't lose arms. your fucking arms. He's got arms. <laughs> if you if you're oh, bound. I can, where am I? Uh, so th- there's like a trial going on against that dude, and I gotta go find pieces of evidence. So this one's time sensitive, so I'm gonna go do this one first. I just picture, like, villagers coming out of those houses and be like, What the fuck, man? What is going on up there? Get off my roof! I just were shingled at you, bad <laughs> fucking asshole. Let's see if I can get some new guns. Do <laughs> you have any new guns? Puts out a forty four. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, alright. A forty four <laughs> long, though. Oh, I can get the tight cicada. <laughs> a forty four <laughs> longbow. Yeah. It's like... Yeah, what well, what do you got for the longbow? Oh, we have a we have a, we have a normal longbow. <laughs> we have a um, we have a war bow that shoots about you know seventy five meters, whatever the I fuck know, I don't like, remember. Yeah, like and then uh, and then we got the forty four longbow. He's forty four longbow. It's like oh yeah, <laughs> yeah that was a uh, that was in my name is Bruce. Oh, 
Okay, I keep getting some dicks. Well, next time on Chin Strap Chaps, we'll take care of all this fucking crap. <laughs> Be doing whatever. I'm just kind of losing track of where we're at in this shit. Oops. <laughs> it was all a dream. Yeah.